Hey guys, it's Mikey Millions here. Last week I made a video criticizing Wall Street bets for thinking everything on the internet is a short squeeze. I expected to take a lot of flack for it, but people seem to really share my frustration, and it appears there's demand for videos on what a short squeeze and gamma squeeze actually are. So in this video, I want to start to deliver by walking us through an example of a short squeeze. The problem that we're seeing on Twitter, Webull, stock twits, and most importantly of all Wall Street bets is that the term short squeeze is getting way overused, and people who have no idea what a short squeeze is are talking about how every stock under the sun is about to squeeze. These guys can't even spell Citadel, and to them, everything is a short squeeze. Taco Bell offering two for one burritos, short squeeze. You got a match on Tinder, short squeeze. If a stock is complete shit and hasn't gone up, it's primed for a short squeeze. And if a stock goes down, it's a hedge fund using a short ladder attack to prevent a short squeeze. This whole thing is getting really stupid. So let's set the record straight and talk about what a short squeeze actually is and what it isn't. To understand a short squeeze, we must understand what it is to sell short and how short sellers are vulnerable to getting squeezed. Let's set up our nice little market here. We've got Brittany and Grigor down here participating in the market as retail traders like you and me. Here's our broker facilitating trades. And here's Melvin. He's going to be our hedge fund. He buys and sells stocks on behalf of his clients to earn a commission. Melvin here believes that Slav Squat Cigarettes is a bad company and its stock price will go down. Right now, Slav Squat is trading at $20, but Melvin thinks it will go much lower. He wants to profit off of Slav Squat dropping, so he elects to sell short. Here's how it's done. Melvin wants to sell shares of Slav Squat Cigarettes because he thinks it will go down, but he does not have any shares in his portfolio, his assets under management. But this doesn't mean he can't sell shares. To sell short, he goes to his broker and says, I would like to sell short Slav Squat. I want to short 100 shares. The broker will facilitate this short sale. Grigor here is a shareholder and thinks Slav Squat will be a great company. The broker will go into Grigor's portfolio and borrow 100 shares from him and give them to Melvin. Grigor doesn't even know this happened and he still owns the shares. Melvin just borrowed them and has to eventually give them back. But Melvin doesn't want to hold these shares that he borrowed from Grigor, he wants to sell them. So he goes to the open market and sells these shares for $20 each. Let's say Brittany buys them. Melvin gets $2,000 for the 100 shares, Brittany gets the 100 shares, and Grigor officially still owns the shares and has an IOU from Melvin that says they'll restore the shares later. For facilitating this transaction, Melvin has to pay the broker an interest rate called the borrow fee. Usually this rate is something like 0.25% or 25 basis points, but it can get much higher if demand for shares to borrow for shorting is high. Melvin thinks Slav Squat will go down, and he wants to buy back at $10. He'd return the shares to Grigor and make him whole once again, and Melvin would be back to having no position in Slav Squat, and he gets to keep his $10 per share of profit for selling at 20 and then buying back at 10. He gets to keep $10. Meanwhile, you've got a ton of other hedge funds and some regular traders that are also shorting Slav Squat because they also think the price will go down. In fact, if the broker starts running out of shares to borrow from his clients, this borrow fee gets really high, like 10%, because there is so much demand for shares to borrow. Let's say that after a month, more than 50% of shares of Slav Squat have been borrowed and shorted. We call this short interest. The short interest on Slav Squat is 50%. Highly shorted stocks like this are primed for a short squeeze. Let's watch how this plays out. What we are about to watch is a short squeeze. What if over the next week, instead of falling in price, Slav Squat goes up? Maybe there was some good news that Slav Squat was going to start selling vodka and energy drinks near colleges, and the company expected a huge revenue boost. What happens when Slav Squat goes to $25 because retail traders and other hedge funds get excited and start buying shares? If you're Melvin, you're saying, well shit, we lost $5 per share so far, so we are sucking, but we can hold on because we think Slav Squat will tank sooner or later. But Citron over here had also shorted at $20. This hedge fund is very upset by this loss. They decide to close their short position and accept the loss before they lose even more money. How do you close a short position? You must buy back the shares that you sold short and return them to your broker so that they can restore the shares to the client's portfolio. It doesn't have to be literally the exact same shares. It just has to be the same number of shares. So Citron goes and buys shares from the market and returns them to the broker. 
And what happens when people buy shares? The stock price goes up. Now Slav Squat is trading at $28 because Citron just bought back 500,000 shares to cover. Retail buyers are starting to get excited because they see posts on Wall Street Bets of people making money on Slav Squat. So they buy shares with their cashier paychecks. The stock goes up to $30. Gojira Hedge Fund Incorporated had also sold short at $20. They're losing $10 a share now. So they buy back their shorts and the stock price goes to 33. Retail takes it all the way up to 40. Now Melvin here, he's starting to get really upset by this because now he's losing $20 a share. He's feeling the pinch and he may decide to buy back the short position right now. But let's say instead he's so confident that Slav Squat will drop that he decides he's going to hold tough until he either makes it big or he must cover. If the stock keeps rising, then at some point his broker will issue a margin call. They'll say, hey man, you're down over 100% on your short, you fucked up. Our job is to make sure that you have enough money to buy back your shorts at a moment's notice. If you want us to keep this position open for you, you have to deposit more cash or you can close the position, that's your choice. Melvin is now in a bind. Does he buy back at a huge loss? Or does he deposit more money to keep the short open? Or does he short even further to try to raise money? Keep in mind he's paying his broker a fee each day for just having a short position. Melvin says, you know what, maybe I will close. So he buys back these shorts at a big loss and by buying back his shares, he sends the price even higher. The stock goes to $45. These spikes throughout the month where shorts covered, sending the stock higher, are short covering events. During this whole period of time, we can say the stock underwent a short squeeze. Collectively, these purchases to cover sent the stock higher, and just as importantly, that motivated more short sellers to cover and send the stock higher still. This is the short squeeze. Short sellers were getting squeezed out of their positions before they lost even more. Some are forced out by their brokers issuing a margin call. The retail traders on Wall Street Bets and elsewhere are really happy right now because they just went from $20 a share to $45. Anyone who bought calls at the $30 strike just printed. And if this cycle continues for Slav Squat, with short sellers buying to cover and sending the stock higher, we could easily see $50 plus before there are no short sellers left to squeeze out of the market. If more short sellers were coming in at these $40 prices, then those hedge funds are just adding juice to the Slav fruit that can get squeezed out as the stock continues to moon. The squeeze will continue until there's simply no juice left, and the squeeze is squoz. Slav Squat cigarettes just went from 20 to over 50 in the course of a week, and people who own shares and calls made a killing. Insiders are probably gonna start selling at this level. What we just witnessed is the classic short squeeze, and it covers 999 out of 1,000 events that we would call a short squeeze. And if all the meme stocks on Wall Street bets are undergoing short squeezes right now, this is almost certainly the type. However, this begs the question, what is the last one non-classic type of short squeeze? That type is related to a lack of liquidity in which short sellers simply cannot buy back their shorts because no one is selling and too many people are still buying. Imagine what would have happened to Melvin if he just couldn't buy enough shares because nobody would sell to him. How much would he have to pay per share to motivate a bunch of diamond-handed apes to sell and allow him to cover? Spoiler, it's a lot and it forces the squeeze knuckle deep. This is a different kind of short squeeze than the classic type, and I was thinking this morning that we really need a new name for this type of short squeeze. And fortunately, as of this year, we have one. This is what social media has come to call the mother of all short squeezes, or MOAS. It is extremely rare and should not be confused with the classic short squeeze. It should surprise no one that the MOAS factors were the driver behind the GameStop squeeze of January 2021. I'm in the middle of recording a mini-series covering the GameStop and deep fucking value saga from start to finish, so we'll save this for that video. We'll get to that other possible aspect during the mini-series and see how it added fuel to the short squeeze fire. If there is really significant demand for a video on the MOAS now, as in something like 500 likes on my pinned comment, I'll drop what I'm working on to cover that video now. Otherwise, I'll do Gamma Squeeze next. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next video, We'll cover either the Short Squeeze's sister moon mission, the Gamma Squeeze, or the MOAS, depending on the desires of the people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.